Hi, I'm Shannon McGee with Network in Action here in the Nashville area, Cool Springs, Brentwood. And today I have Vincent Chinese with me with Capstar Bank. I'm glad you could join me. Thanks, Shannon. I appreciate it. Glad to be here. So tell me, how did you get started in banking? So it's actually interesting. Um, I met a market president for a bank uh, through my next door neighbor, um, a longtime next door neighbor of mine who uh, always had big family events and invited us. And I got to know um, her brother-in-law uh, who was in banking. And uh, I had expressed my interest in commercial development. Um, growing up in New York, um, I moved to Nashville and I came to a city that almost seemed like a clean slate. <clears throat> and as it was growing, it really fascinated me. So I did a lot of reading about commercial development. And uh, when I spoke to this gentleman in the um, the gatherings that we had, he was impressed with that knowledge. And, uh, you know, he, he, he liked talking to me and we kind of built this relationship that eventually if an opportunity came up at his bank, um, you know, he would think of me. Um, that was going on for a couple of years. And then finally, an opportunity did arise uh, working as a commercial lending assistant. So I was ready to take the take the plunge and, and do something different and uh, started at Republic Bank uh, here in Nashville, but they're based out of Louisville, Kentucky, uh, but uh, started working with them on the commercial lending side and really just kind of learned from the ground up. Um, and it, it, it was it was a great experience to get started. Um, and, and it really, as I started doing it, I really started to see how much I enjoyed being around people, working with people and working for people. So that's awesome. So how long have you been in banking then? Uh, a little over five years started awesome. in June of 2018. So you, you probably have some great client stories. What's, what's something you can yeah. share? With um, you know, a couple that stand out, uh, one was, uh, back in 2020, uh, when I was starting a new role as a business development manager, um, I had brought on a client uh, who is a, uh, a, a daycare uh, owner um, that was looking for PPP funds uh, to help with his business. And in conjunction with that, um, it was also uh, a full relationship that was brought over. Um, he was not content with his current bank. He felt like they did not contact him. Uh, and he wanted some attention, uh, and I was able to provide that for him, not only with the PPP side, but also from the deposit relationship side and uh, some potential commercial lending opportunities, too. Um, it was something I had worked on for a couple of years, actually. Uh, it was actually someone that my wife knew, and she put me in touch with them. And uh, that perseverance, I think that dedication to committing yourself to somebody and, and wanting to be there for them, uh, saw the fruits of that labor, which is, which was great. Um, he's a great guy. And, um, you know, somebody that I still want to continue to bank, um, you know, where I am currently. So that's, that's in progress. Um, another story I have was, uh, another client of mine who was, uh, trying to get some wires out and, um, I was helping him along with the process, but I had stepped out for another client meeting. And after I got out, I called this client, and was walking him through the process, trying to help him push it through the finish line, um, sitting in my car um, in a parking lot uh, at the other client's uh, location. And, uh, you know, my concern is I really want to help this client out. Um, and they really appreciated it. And it's something that's always stayed with them, which is great. Um, I'm glad that I made that impact, but also glad that I helped. And, I'm, you know, they mentioned it to me in a meeting earlier this year, just out of the blue. They said no other bank would do that. Um, so that, that meant a lot to me and uh, I was glad I can help. So, you know, clearly you love what you do and that's, that's, that's so wonderful. Like it, it's, it's great to have a vendor. That's more than a vendor, a vendor. That's a partner that works mm -hmm. with you and, you know, is passionate about what they do. So Vincent, if someone wanted to get a hold of you, what's the best way to reach you? Um, email, text, phone, really any way. Um, you know, what I've learned in the banking world is that it's about accessibility uh, and being, you know, there for the client. So, um, you know, definitely just, you know, at, at their convenience is really the best way. Um, you know, I know a lot of, especially in my world, business owners, they're very busy. Um, they're dealing with their business, dealing with their family, their personal lives. You know, they're not always going to be available to talk at three o'clock on a Tuesday. It might be seven o'clock on a Wednesday. And, um, you know, so I'd make my best effort to say, you know, I'm available 
for you. I'm available for everybody in my life, my family and everything. So I make time for all of that. So um, like I said, you know, email, call, text, texting seems like a very uh, favorable way to contact nowadays. So um, that is totally fine with me too. So. Awesome. Well, Vincent, thanks for joining me today. It's great to hear your story. Great to hear, you know, more about you and what you do, but more importantly, your passion for helping others. Thank you very much, Shannon. I really appreciate the time. Thank you.